welcome back to the MC Ages server. I am Moobids. Happy New Year to each and every one of you. And yes, it's been a while, hasn't it? It's now episode 6 and we are starting things off where we left things off last year. Don't worry, I'll explain where I've been. But uh, yeah, we'll do that in a bit. Because we're starting things off at the future site of Valhalla Supplies. The awesome shop. This thing is going to be epic. I promise you this thing is going to be amazing. <laughs> well, I'm talking to you from the future, so I already know it's amazing because everyone said it's amazing. So yeah, that'll be fun. <laughs> yeah, so uh, it's been a while. I've been away. Um, as some of you will know, uh, I am a cinematographer um, and a licensed drone um, cinematographer to, uh, to boot as well. And I've been busy doing that. A couple of things I can't talk about, a couple of things I can talk about, I'll tell you about those later. Um, and in between doing those things, I have been doing search and rescue, looking for lost puppies. They get all lost, bless them. Especially around Christmas, they get off the lead and they're off and they bugger off and then they get lost and we have to go and find them. So yes, it's all, it's all good. But yes, enough of that, we'll talk about that in a time lapse chat probably. But for now, we're going to get back on with building the shop. Let's go! And the first thing we need to do is make people know that there's a shop coming. As you can see here, we've built our big um, flame torch towers um, just to kind of bring people's attention to the thing. And as you go back, you'll notice some never rack on the sides here, which we're going to put some um, some little torches going bigger and bigger and bigger as we go along. Uh, a bit smaller than the ones in front, obviously, just something a bit more subtle. And then underneath the walkway, there's actually going to be a nether portal um, going from the main shopping mall through the nether to the town of Everwinter so they can come to my shop and everybody else's shops all around, as you can see. Um, and that's going to be about here. The entrance to the shop's going to be roughly in this area, I think. Um, I've got to figure it all out. But um, if you remember, we built a cylinder going straight down where those um, grey tiles are on the edge of the circle here. So that goes all the way down to uh, bedrock. Um, and there's going to be a bubble vator that sucks you down to the bottom and you have to work your way up doing various Viking trials. But yeah, there's going to be some kind of thing entrance just there. I may put a building there. I might just leave it and see how it goes. And then the, the what they'll do is they'll come up here on this block. Um, the shop will be directly underneath. The roof of the shop pretty much is going to be what I'm walking on right now. Um, and then there'll be a bubble elevator to come up. And you'll come up between the the Viking's legs, Matron. And uh, yeah, that'll be your, your experience over. But as you can see, I've got some materials. And I'm going to do a little experiment and see what we come up with. So I'll be right back. Okay, yeah. Something a bit like that. Um, and as you can see, we're just going to put some... Spruce trapdoors on there, keep it simple. I may come back to these. Hmm, honestly, that's not bad. Yeah, I might even do that. But I'm going to obviously evolve this as I go. Because obviously I'm no builder, as you guys know. I'm more of a redstoner. But there's spruce trapdoors there. And as you can see, I've got some dark oak trapdoors on the other side. But I think the spruce is looking better. It's like it's a, a barrel that's on fire. Whereas those ones, the dark oak ones, I don't know. What do you think? I think I prefer the spruce, personally. So let's get rid of these and see what the whole thing looks like with spruce trapdoors and we'll take it from there. Okay, yeah, that's better. There you go. So they go up and up and up. And as you can see, I've, I've raised up the big towers here either side. Just by a couple of blocks, just so they kind of uh, makes a nice flow going upwards. Um, and I need to claim, actually, just around these blocks so people can't um, can't troll them or take them off or whatever. Um, I've just got to figure out where it is. Uh, so Irina has given me the uh, permission on the circle, and then I just need to claim the path here so i'm just doing that that's what you do here you can claim blocks and it means people can't place blocks or destroy them or anything i'm doing that and then the next job is to figure out where we're going to put the entrance i think which is going to be here um oh zombie zombie bugger off bugger off bugger off thank you Right, yeah, so I think that's pretty much going to be where it is. I might move it forward a little bit, I'm not sure. Um, 
Yeah, I think probably that is going to be all right. Um, so we mark that off, and what we've got to do now is build a tunnel right down to bedrock and fill it with sand, which I'm going to do off camera. But yeah, the idea is you come up the um, the, the from the Never Portal behind what's going to be behind me. Um, and it's just going to have a, a couple of signs there saying, Welcome to Valhalla, you know, enter mortal or something like that. And then you, you fall through the floor into the first of the test chambers, if you will, um, which is going to be a hellhound, a free headed hellhound. And you have to pick your know, walk through the mouth of the hellhound or one of the mouths to go to your next test. Um, but yeah, I'm going to do some sand placement first, I think, before we can get to the fun stuff. So, be right back. And in today's two-minute chat, I wanted to talk about where I've been. Um, because a lot of you have been asking, when's the next episode coming? When's the next episode coming? And thank you for the support, by the way. It's really cool to see that you're enjoying my uh, pottering around on Minecraft. But yeah, as well as working on some films the one i can talk about is called hymns of avarice megan or is the working title and if you like your sort of clive barker hellraiser you know body horror kind of thing that might be up your street but uh, it's definitely an 18 so make sure you are 18 if you're gonna look that thing up as well as doing that in the search and rescue of course we've just had christmas and as some of you might know i do actually have a severe ptsd post-traumatic stress disorder with associated depression. Be Christmas being Christmas and the pressures that we put ourselves under and you know lots of people out in the streets and trying to please family members and things like that it obviously um, sets me off so I, I took a couple of months off. I'm not a full-time cinematographer at the moment so I just work as and when I'm well enough to do so and obviously when I'm not very well um, I get conf it's a bit like Alzheimer's I get confused I um, forget where I am it's not it's not safe for me to drive um, or things like that and obviously I don't like being around crowds because of the anxiety associated with PTSD but yeah I'll talk about that more on my personal vlogs but I just thought I'd uh, be open with you and, and know that if you are feeling symptoms like that you, you're not alone between everyone we, you know you can drop that whole stigma around it and just be open and honest about these symptoms and uh, go be able to go and see your GPs about it and, and that's that's what I hope you all do so um, Stay safe, um, and let's get back onto the MC Ages server. And as we bow down to our Viking masters, you will see that I've been busy. Yes, so this is the entire shop floor now cleared out of water and lined with Neverrack. And as you can see, there's gaps um, where there's going to be lava waterfalls, making it look like a proper Valhalla hellscape. It's going to be awesome. Um, but yeah, there and there, and then there's one behind, kind of there. And then this behind us is the actual entrance into the trials rooms. Um, you've got the, the hole up above that I made. And if we make our way down, oof, um, this is obviously going to be all hidden from the shop. Um, I've made a, a tunnel, that, that's where you fall through, there's a hole right there, obviously it's not there in case someone else falls in there for now, um, but uh, where the grey uh, blocks are, that's going to be lava going all the way down, uh, you will be surrounded by glass so you can't touch the lava in case you press forwards or sideways or whatever, and that will fall all the way down here into a massive hole all the way down here down 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 and i'm still going down as you can see the rooms are going to be massive when you go in but yeah straight down to bedrock and we've got some diamonds hell yeah oh uh, hang on there you go yeah how many we get seven not bad not bad um so yeah you'll come down and you'll land down here uh, into the hellhound room and then um pick your trials and you go up to another level and then another sort of mini level uh, of corridors that pr brings everyone back to the middle and then you go up a final water vater into the shop building that you just saw just there hang on a second i keep forgetting to hide the chat um, <laughs> i need to start pressing f1 more often or just hide the chat when i'm recording it's uh, i know it's off-putting for you guys so apologies but yeah i've got to dig all the way down here, this is going to be, and the, I'm going to imagine these are going to be surrounded by glass. And I've got to put glass from the top all the way down to the bottom, 
um, and then dig out the uh, Hellhound room, which is going to be quite a large room and quite a big task. Unfortunately, as of time of recording, I don't have a beacon, um, so it's all going to have to be manual. Yay! A few hours later, and this is the result. So this is the basic outline of the Hellhound room. Um, a lot to do to make it um, worthwhile. But we're going to dig out all the floor and put glass across the top level of the uh, rack so it looks like it's, you know, like the floor of hell, if you will. Um, and these things here are going to be the hellhound's mouths here. So there's two big ones on either side and a slightly smaller one there just because of the, the way the room's worked out with the mathematics and things. Um, so that's the basic base of, of the various um, mouths and things. And then here we're going to put some red glass. Once we've dug out all every single block, even the ones hidden underneath, we're going to try and get every single one of them. Fill that in with glass. And then these walls pretty much signify what's going to be lava waterfalls all around and hopefully on the ceiling as well. Um, I've got to figure all that out. Um, and as you can see, I'm using iron tools for all this, so it's taking a while. But yeah, you'll go through the mouth here in the front or, or either side and there'll be a bubble vate at the back of each mouth taking you up to the various rooms. Um, and obviously, from a practical standpoint, the various rooms are going to be on different levels um, because they're, they're quite large themselves. But yeah, you, you'd kind of go go down here. This will be a corridor. That's going to be a bubble vater right there. Soul sand going, shooting you up. So this is going to be the fire room. Um, the middle one is going to be the battle room. And the far one over there is going to be the ice room. Um but for now, I'm just kind of working out what materials to use, make sure it's all marked out properly. Um, all the way down there is going to have to be dug out, all the way across there. The, that white one back there, sorry, the sandstone, should I say, um, that's going to be above the vator as well. Uh, but you get the general idea. And pretty much where the, where the, those two sandstone blocks are there, that's going to be lava as well. So there's going to be a hell of a lot of lava in here. I'm going to make it as safe as humanly possible so that people can't jump into it and lose all their gear um, because the whole point is it's supposed to give you the feeling of being in lava but actually not being in the lava itself. So there's another bubble vater there and that's this is going to be the ice room above me um, which, as you can imagine, is going to be a room made of ice. Um, but yeah, I'm going to get on with that. I'm going to work out some teeth and things here and, uh, you know, the, the shape of the hellhound's mouth. And I've got to dig up about 10 blocks on, uh, all around as well. Um, and, yeah, I'll be right back. And another couple of hours later, and the room looks like this. Um, so now you get an idea. There, there's gonna, That's the red glass on the floor. It took so long to take out all these little blocks. It's crazy. Oh, so many little hidden bits and bobs. But as you can see, um, I actually found some some naturally occurring lava just here, which is always hel helpful. <laughs> and it happens to be exactly where I want it to be. Um, but I'll give you an idea what it's like. Um, and then there's going to be lava going across the roof up there as well. So it's going to come down here, down here, all the way along there, all the way around the edges. Um, and then kind of down the sides of the hellhound's mouths. So you can't, there won't be a body to the hellhound so much. Uh, you'll be able to see the neck a bit. And then lava all the way along the roof there as well. Um, so it's going to be like a proper hellscape. Like it, hopefully it'll shock people as they land down here um, from the bubble vator. Um, now I've marked out pretty much where the room's going to go above. Um, and I've got to wor work out... Um, some various things to make the lava flow the way we want to. But yeah, it's coming on. And I think I'm going to keep the Hellhound's mouths as cobble as well. Like they've been carved out of the rock. And this room's been carved out by like ancient Viking type people. Or some kind of Viking cult or something like that. But yeah, um, I'll give you another update in a sec. We're getting there. We're getting there. Head number one pretty much done. Got to put some detail in there. But you're getting the general idea now. Um, that's the big head over there. And that's going to be replicated on the other side. And the slightly smaller head just there. You can see his teeth starting to come together. Oh, I'm loving this room already. And I'm not even finished. <laughs> 
And as we get towards the end of our recording session, we go into our makeshift bubble ele elevator. And this is what you'll be greeted with. Three hellhound mouths of doom and several chests of uh, resources. Always a bonus. <laughs> but yeah, I've got a lot of stuff <laughs> from digging this hole out. Um, which is going to help in the rooms above. But let me give you a nice tour of this building uh, because I'm going to leave it at this point to probably finish it off off camera or on a live stream if you're watching us on Twitch. I've got one of the bubble elevators in here and this is the tongue of the hellhound if you will which is obviously uh, never walk blocks. And all the tongues are in, the main tunnels are kind of in and the bubble elevators are in and you go up. Oof. And I'm just, this is going to be the floor where all the lava is going before I uh, knock out the uh, cobblestone. It's going to be suspended on signs, which is going to be a nice arduous task again. Hooray. But yeah, above there you've got uh, the start of the uh, ice room. And then above here is going to be the uh, battle room, which lots of statues and things holding swords. And then above here is going to be the fire. You come to the end, go up another bubble vator, and end up back in kind of the middle, somewhere around here, I think. And that will bring you up into the shop. But that's the idea of it. But that is going to have to wait for another episode, because I am fresh out of time. Thanks for joining me. Um, it's been... A wonderful to get back onto the MC Aegis server and seeing your beautiful faces, although metaphorically. But I can imagine what they look like. But yeah, as I'm going to sneak along here, I don't. Mm, can I get down and give you a on camera view? Probably not. I'm just going to get on with uh, digging out the rest of this cobble, I think. But yeah, thanks for joining me. If you did like this ep episode, episode 6 of MC Ages, please give it a like. If you disliked it, then please feel free to press the dislike button twice. And I'll see you at the next episode. Ta-ra! I like to move it, move it, bit.